My name is Geldra Cedro, and I'm here to tell you a story. The story of how one man can make a difference, and actually change the entire outcome of a nation's history. This is the story of how I went home to Morrowind. You see, I grew up in the capital of the Empire, the Imperial City. I never knew my parents, and I grew up alone until I fell in with some gangs. I got into a little bit of trouble at age 16. I was caught sneaking into a tavern's booze vault. Unfortunately, a couple of off-duty guards caught me, then threw me in the dungeon. It had been four years, and suddenly I was transferred by carriage to Shainhall, and I didn't really know why. Then transferred again, next by boat. All I remember is I had a dream. That some godly woman spoke to me and told me that I was being transported to Morwind, the land of my ancestors. I wasn't sure why, but I was soon to find out. They have taken you from the Imperial City's prison. First by carriage and now by boat. To the east, to Morrowind. Fear not, for I am watchful. You have been chosen. Wake up. We're here. Why are you shaking? Are you okay? Wake up. I had just woke up from my dream. Stand up. There you go. You were dreaming. What's your name? Uh, it's Galdras. Galdras Cedril. Well, not even last night's storm could wake you. I heard them say we've reached Morrowind. I'm sure they'll let us go. Morrowind? But why? Why am I here? Quiet. Here comes the guard. What the hell is going on? This is where you get off. Come with me. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Sure. Get yourself up on deck and let's keep this as civil as possible. Sure. Whatever. This is where they want you. Head down to the dock and I'll show you to the census office. I was greeted by a guard and told to get off the boat. I was escorted up the dock into the census office. There, I was greeted by an old man that questioned me about trivial things to get a sense of my character, I guess. Ah, yes, we've been expecting you. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. On a clear day, you chance upon a strange animal. One summer afternoon, your father gives you a choice of chores. Your cousin has given you a very embarrassing nickname, and even worse, there is a lot of heated discussion at the local tavern. Your mother sends you to the market with a list of goods to buy. In a marketplace, you witness a thief. He then inquired about my birth sign. Very good. The letter that preceded you mentioned you were born under a certain sign. And what would that be? It's, uh, it's the Atronach. He gave me papers, and I was off to see the captain. The captain gave me some money and told me I was to report to a man named Cassius Cosades in the town of Belmora, and that I was a free man from the Emperor himself, which was crazy, but I was not about to argue with the Emperor. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this video. I hope you enjoyed the little uh, cinematic intro there, but now it's time for one of my own. Uh, my name is the Slayer 138 and I hope to bring you joy and entertainment with a game that I love. This game's almost 16 years old, and I, being fairly young, I never got too deep into it. I'd say it only completed about, like, half of the story. So, I want to make this series for two reasons. One, I would love to show off the game, and how great it is, well, for much as I've seen of it, and, uh, mods that people have been working almost a decade and a half on this game. I mean, this game is phenomenal, I love it. I love the Elder Scrolls series as a whole, and I consider myself to be a slight lore nerd. Not one that can, like, start quoting script, like, a quote of, like, scripture, but enough to where I want to 
watch videos from like the shoddy cast or read into it in wikis and stuff like that but uh so to say for the series I want this to be a role play but not like the whole first person cinematic experience that some youtubers do um but I will try to do my best that there are no promises <laughs> uh so since that's out of the way uh let's take a look at the character because I did cut out hello I did cut out the character generate the generation just to put that little intro in there because I thought that'd be cool so I have chosen a spell sword ish character one that uh, kind of a jack of all trade almost uh, long blade destruction magic marksman security and heavy armor so he's almost I want to say like a knight or <laughs> a spell sword and then my our miners are personality and a little bit more magic along with sneak like speechcraft mercantile and sneak itself um, the rest are kind of basic and they don't really matter. Our birth sign is the Atronach, which means we don't regenerate magic. We have to use potions. But we do get twice the magic starting for bonus, or twice our intelligence, so... 40, I don't know how that works. That's only... whatever. Mm, there's a... it's complicated, but that's what, uh... That is... And then we have spell absorption, so if someone shoots a spell at us, we can absorb it. And, with that out of the way, I said let's start wandering the town while I talk then. Now that that is all gone and dandy, hello, let's just start talking to people. Um, if I can help, I will, but don't take too much time. Shut up. Are you the one that boat dropped off? I want to see a boat arrive at that time of day. Hope the Imperials treat you okay. I swear they took my ring. Your ring? I swear one of the guards has it. I had it last week before their weekly Let's Shake Down Fargoth ritual. An engraved healing ring. Family heirloom of mine. You haven't seen it, have you? So, this is the first time we get to see our character a bit. Uh, I want to say he's a bit of a bastard. Kind of a dick. In the way that he is very... Dunmer proud, even if he's not from Morwen, because he's from the Imperial City. So he's not gonna do anything unless it suits him advantage, really. He's kind of nice, but to his own race. He's a bit of a racist, I guess. So we are not gonna give the ring back. Uh sorry, no ring, man. Darn. Well if you see it, let me know. It's an engraved ring of healing. God, I know it's here somewhere. Alright, well. Cool, bro. See ya. Um yeah, he's very Dunmer proud. Go Any ahead, time, Jerry. Wow. I was weird, you two. Are you two brothers? Because you have the same voice. Uh, let's head into the trade house here. A real trade house. Yeah, a little out of character knowledge there, but... It won't be the end of the world. Hello, sir. Welcome to a real... Aurelius. Yeah, this game has a lot of weird names, and I promise if I, or I apologize, well, I promise to butcher, like, all of them, but I'm apologizing in advance for it. Welcome to Aurelius Trade House. I'm a real publican and proprietor. Don't take what doesn't belong to you. You're a new face here. If you want to buy from me, you'll have to barter. If you want a little advice, it's free to new customers. Just ask. Would you like to hear about our most popular potions or our most popular scrolls? Neither, good sir. So since we are a long blade and marksman character, let's get ourselves. Let's see. That looks like the only bow. Need some arrows. Then different long blade. So Morrowind has this nice system where it has different attacks. So if you move left or right, you're gonna do a slash. If you do forward motions, you can do a thrust. And if you do backwards or stand, so you can do a chop. So that's nice. Well, that's with swords. I think that's actually with all of them. Yeah, it's with all of them. But it's cool. It doesn't do just a set mount. Oh, why do I make that higher? I want to make that lower. 70. Nice. Um. Yeah, so there's this nice little menu in the options there that says always oh, use the best attack. We'll make sure that's on. So you'll notice the difficulty is set on 100. And that is because of this right here. This is a mod called Accurate Attack. 
it grants us this ability full attack a hundred a thousand points to guarantee we're going to hit that is to make this game seem more like what assistance do you not, need shut up uh to make this game flow i think it's gonna make it flow a little faster we're not gonna be sitting here dicking around with enemies for eight hours um but to compensate for that i did increase the difficulty so as much damage as i'm gonna output i'm gonna receive back that way just to make so i don't have like a giant handicap given to me uh, let's start don't stand about all right i'll talk to you you look like you can use a friend outlander perhaps i can be your friend i'd like you to help me recover some gold what do you mean recover some gold that's right see i've had a bad run of luck playing nine holes and lost a bit of money Normally, I'd be fine. We can usually keep some of our some gold in our pockets just from the mo Hi, everyone. The English language is hard, apparently. Just from the money the locals pay us for uh, protection. But I know some of them are holding out on me, especially that little fetcher, Fargoth. He comes up light in the past couple of weeks when I shake him down, and I know he's stashing it somewhere. I'd like you to find his hiding place. His hiding place. I know that fetcher's little... I know that Fetch has got one somewhere in town. I'm just not sure where yet. I've already gone through his whole house, so we know he's not hiding it there. I'd like you to find out where he's stashing his gold. If you can, I'll give you a share of the wealth. Are you up for it? And now considering we be broke. Hell, let's do it. Excellent. Here's what I want you to do. I'm not sure where he goes, but I know he wanders around town at night. If you watch his movements... From <laughs> hi, I'm adding words. Watch his movements. The best vantage point is at the top of the lighthouse, south of the town. That will give you a nice view of all of Sayadinim. If you keep an eye on where he goes, I'm sure you'll be able to figure out where he's hiding that gold. Uh, cool. Thanks. Thanks, Hreska Flatfoot. And I just butchered that name. Um. So yeah, our guy's a bit of a bastard. He's gonna do what he can to. You're on your honor. Don't Shut press up. your luck. I called the Bragarts. Um, what's your story, bud? If you're looking for a specific place, okay. Why do you say so at first? I know every moss-covered tree, that fetid pond in the better coast. What are you trying to find? What's Halorman? Really? Well, if you can fly, the ancient fortress Halorman is just west of Balmora, since the mountains are impassable. Wow, cause I knew of Halmorin. Apparently, he might have just said it. Let's assume he said Halmorin, and then we're like, Halmorin? And now he's acting as a surprise. Um, I guarantee you this is from a mod called Less Generic NPCs. Well, it's not a mod. It's a collection of mods. Um, it just aims to make... Because most people in the game are just... You have this. And they give you generic... Little tidbits that ev everyone says. So what it does is it goes through a bunch of the... I'm trying to... I'm talking. I am monologuing here, sir. Um, it goes through a bunch of the major towns, and it's... Fuck it, let's leave. Excuse my language. Um, it goes through... Yes. And revamps the dialogue, so it's actually unique, and it's not copy and paste bland, because that's one thing this game... Any time now. That's one thing this game did absolutely horrible. It had no dialogue. What do we do? We have no heavy armor. We have no armor. Let's go <laughs> well, let's go back in. Yeah, so that's one thing this game got horribly wrong, was just the dialogue. So. Oh, hell! So you decided to be Hiroskar's debt collector. I have to say, I am disappointed. I thought there might be more to you. Well. Yeah, so that's our disposition bar. That tells us how much the NPC likes us and how our prices are going to be affected. And since we took on Hriskar's challenge... <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That has to be because of the mod. What? what? Talk, tell me about Hriskar. He might be merely a bully to be, to be avoided, except he has the authority of the Imperial Legion behind him. And that makes him a dangerous person to slight. Why do you, su why do you suppose I tell on his presence upstairs? I try to be on good terms with everyone. It's better for business. And in a town where I'm the only supplier of general goods... There's no avoiding anyone. Fair enough. Uh, what type of spells do you... Well, no. Let's look at this first. Uh, heavy armor. Apparel. 34. 70. 
Let's cast ourselves a shield. Let's see if we can't get it for 34. Nice, perfect, awesome. Shield, all right. So, you know, wait, Farga. So this is our journal, it tells you what, this is basically how our quest works. So you go to options and quests and you have actually your, all your quests. There. And I guess I should mention, I am to report to Caius Cassades. My orders are to go to the town of Balmora in Vardenfeld district and report to a man named Caius Cassades. To find out where he lives, I should ask in Balmora at the corner called at the corner club called Southwall. That is a mouthful. Hello. Um, that's how quests work. They're documented there. Instead of just like the oh menu. Hey, cool. Like instead of just being in a menu like this. And it's written in a first person narrative, which is actually kind of cool. Um, so just like that. Let's give back the ring. And only to see if it'll be, if it'll go stash, you know? Uh, Sorry, stranger. My time is short, so get on with it. Why are you being so old? What do you want? Hey, um, you know, I actually do believe I found your ring. Yeah, I, I swear I found it. You found it? Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. You are now my favorite friend. I'll be sure to tell the others, especially my friend Aril, who runs the trade house. Go see him. He'll be happy to see you now. Oh, wow. <laughs> we give him his ring. And after he knows. How did he know about it? That's bullshit. Okay. Let's see. Go put in your hiding spot. Come on. I'm not watching you. Okay, what if we crawl around this house real quick? Let's see. No shit, he's still standing there. Damn it, we just lost a ring. I thought he might have go put it in his hiding spot. Excuse me. What's Excuse this about? me, sir. Yeah, so our overarching goal. Hi, this is a uh, Tamriel rebuild here. It's a phenomenal mod. From what little I've played of it, but it's great. I, from what I've seen, I love it. I'm really excited to really delve into this and get deep into the bowels of more. <laughs> Forgive me. Um, let's pick up some stuff. Cool. I was really hoping he would uh go put it in his hiding spot. So with that, we have to kill until now. Oh, God, way off track. Hi. Hello, ADD. Maybe I don't know. Um, our overarching goal here, our big mission, what we've been set out to do is to go to not there, a town called Balmora. Um. That's where this man lives, and that's who we've been sent to find by the Emperor himself. So, I figure it's best not to piss off the Emperor. Sorry, Galgis thinks it's probably best not to piss off the Emperor, and I don't blame him. So, we're gonna go to Balmora, but. Not there. What time is it? So, it's 1 p.m., and we need to wait until 9. So, it's what, probably 8, 9. Wait until night to watch. Far God, let's see what he does. Meantime, I say let's probably just go exploring the rounding the surrounding area. Again, hi. I can't speak. See just like that, a normal level one character. That would not not have gone over so well. Hello, Shack. Not the person, like that's the little you get. Uh, 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 dumb puns, yeah. No, you're so funny. Start. I want to start. I want to do alchemy. I didn't include it in my major or minor skills just because I didn't want. To. Really, the only thing these do, or not really, the major skills and minor skills are how you level. These skills, they don't. They're just skills. They don't proceed into your leveling at all. So I really pick skills that are gonna. We're gonna be focusing focusing heavily upon our character. Again, high words. But. I do want to do alchemy in this game, which is at, I mean, it's 10. It could be, it could be at five. Our short blade's pretty good. And so is our mysticism, which is great. But our alchemy is 10. So, I mean, it's not horrible. So I want to do, I want to start doing that or start. Yeah, I want to, I want to do alchemy in this let's play. So 
so we're gonna be gathering ingredients. And you might have noticed that one didn't open. Uh, these wonderful graphics, the base set of it is from Morrowind Graphics and Sound Overhaul. Hello, die bitches. And that includes a model called Graphics Herbalism, which allows you to just pick up a pick up the flora instead of using it like a container like that one. Not the end of the world. That's how it was in the original game. I don't mind it that much. Hello. Hi. Oh, shit. Ha. Shouldn't have expected to one shot you. Oh, shit. Sir. Oh, hell. How does this do? Okay, let's see what he's got. He's 200 gold. Attack. Processes Vitilius, Cyanine, Sentence, and Excise Office. So this is the tax collector. Obviously. A real. So. It looks like Foreign Glyneth. Eldefire. And Fargoth are the highest. Foreign Glyneth, Eldefire, and mm, Fargoth. Fargoth isn't that high. Well, shit, sir. So it looks like those people had the highest and didn't pay their taxes. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. We might as well we should look into that. Mm -hmm. Part of my chair noise is there. Um, yeah, so let's keep exploring all this until we really get a reason. Well, we got a reason to go back to town, but why waste, why waste a very profitable alchemy chance <laughs> words? Yes, yeah, so let's go run over town. Drive me up the wall. Oh my god. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Always love it when the game kind of stutters as you're walking into a new cell. That's always nice. It was, it's very, very faint when it's there. Um, let's talk to someone. Sir! Excuse me. Go ahead, stranger. Hey, um, I don't want to break this to you, but I found the body of the belief of who I think is the tax collector. You found his body. Well, I guess it's up to you. What? It's up. He, guys, words are hard, and so is speaking. Apparently. Well, it's up to you. To, it's up. Wow. <laughs> Uh, you can do whatever you want that information. I suppose Sakushi and Grella in the census office would be the one to tell. Wow, thank you. Um, good God. Uh, let's start interrogating people. Shit. Excuse me. What assistance do you need? I haven't seen your face before. Would you like a little advice, or are you looking for someone in particular? Well, Miss Elda Fire, what do you know about the murder of the tax collector? What is wrong with this land where so many good people die so young? Okay, mm honey, that's shady as fuck. I'll be back for you. Okay, so it was... Farga. I don't know anyone named Forn Glyneth here. Farga. Greetings, my friend. What do you want to talk about? What can you tell me about the tax collector? What would I know about that? You're just as bad as everyone else. Anything suspicious happened in this? Suspicious happens. Should be happens. Whatever. And they're quick to blame me. This is a wondrous encounter. Well, <laughs> yeah. After what you just said, whatever. Uh, Vadunius Nucius and Finemouth are the only other guy people who haven't paid. Let's see here. Excuse me, sir. Any time now. You're Vadunius. Yes. What do you want? If you're looking to get a signing, we... sure. Little advice. Dying. New here, take the silt strider to develop to Vivek or Palmora, which I probably will do. Fast and cheap, and no trouble with wild animals and smugglers and bandits and outlaws. Go see Darve. Darvami. 
Darvame. Darvame. Whatever. Over at the Strider Port. Over the bridge and east along the rip water. And tell her Vadunius Nucius. Yeah, Vadunius. What do you know about the murder of Processus? You found his body? Well, God, you're... See what I mean? Click and paste. Let's see. Uh, this is our local map. Okay, so Fort Glyph has a shack somewhere in town. I guess let's go talk to Seducius. Hello, sir. Hello. Excuse me. Watch this, then. Hello, Galdros. What business do you have with the census and excise office? Well, I'm here to report the murder of the tax collector, Processus? Murdered? What a waste. Processus was a good man, and I've been wondering why we haven't heard from him in a couple in a few days. Still, yeah, these are dangerous times we live in, and these sort of things will happen. Did you happen to find the tax money he collected? I hate to be so callous, but I do have a job to do. Well... A free 200 gold, or if we can probably convince him to keep us, to let us investigate, because it is suspicious, 200, if you have 200 bucks, and you're on your body, and someone doesn't rob you, that's suspicious, so maybe we can probably get something out of this if we tell the truth. You did. How odd that he was murdered but not robbed. See? Mm. Your honesty is appreciated, I can tell you that. I won't forget this, Galdros. In fact, if you're looking for some money yourself, I'd like to see the murder process is punished. Killing an emperor's tax collector is punishable by death. Find his murderer, bring him to justice, and the census will, office will pay you 500... Hell yeah! Nice! A boom. You know what's odd? Oh, I can't look at it right now. Um... I don't think I've ever seen a shack for processes here. Like, if it's supposed to be a person, well, obviously it's a person, but if he was supposed to be, like, Let's hear active it. in the town, you would think he had a house. Because that's the shack district. Nope. I don't see one. Yeah, no. That's funny. Alright. So we've investigated... The Dunius Nucius, who hasn't given us anything. Eldefire. It was Foreign Glynis. So let's go talk to either Fine Mouth or Foreign Glynis, because those two haven't. Greetings and oh my time God. Now. Those two haven't talked to you yet. And those are the only. Those are the. Words. Those are the only two that haven't paid their taxes this. I don't know. Month? Quarter? Week? I'm assuming with those highs, I'm probably like a month. I don't know. Uh, oh, let me just check. Is this your first time to say anything? You won't find much by the way of services. Services. You ask that question like you think somehow the answer is going to be different from that the last five people you asked. There's only one place to get anything in this town, and that's the trade house. What can you tell about the... What can you tell about the murder of the tax collector? Murder, you say? Well, he was disliked by most people, but I don't see how killing him changed anything. The Imperials would just get someone else to collect their tribute. Fair enough. Under sun and sky, Outlander, Thanks. we greet you warmly. Thanks. Boo! See? They're greeting me warmly. He's a dark elf. Like me. Um. Fine mouth. He's another one we're looking for. Ugh. Herculeans. You decide to just enter my home without invitation. What is this about, Dark Elf? I'm here to ask you about the murder of Processus. I did not know him. Mmm. Girl. Okay, so let's do this. Speak quickly. Persuasion here is retarded. Ah, it's working a little bit. I do have a... I'm walking toward the murderer. So usually when they give something suspicious like that... Oh, come on. There's the music. You bastard. Yeah, usually when they give you something specific, like, I did not know that. Or I did not know him. Or something like that. It means they want you to interrogate them. What if I can get you above 70? Absolutely not. Uh, wow. 
And yeah, that was totally spammy. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so that's suspicious as hell. I don't trust anything he says now. Also, he fucking hates me. <sighs> Words! Uh, what can you tell with the murder processes? I wonder if that's the work of the Kamaraton. The hate Imperials. I don't even... I do not even want to know their opinions of tax collectors. What's the Kamaraton? They hate Outlanders and Imperials in particular. In their eyes, the Imperial Legion is an invading army that conducted dishonorable war by striking cowardly from the shadows. Yeah. Under sun and sky, Outlander, we greet you warmly. It was nice talking to you. I guess let's talk to Foreign and Glimmeth. Excuse me, sir. What are you doing here? Are you lost or something? No, I'm here to ask you about the murder of the tax collector. That fetcher? You're damn right I did him in. And a good thing, too. He was skimming a load of money from all of us, honest people. Overcharging us on our taxes and keeping the difference for himself. He was always flaunting his money around, showing off his new clothes and jewels. So, I killed the bastard and left his body out there to rot with all his ill-begotten gold still on him. That's no excuse for murder, and your punishment has been decided. <laughs> You're one of them, huh? Come to kill me? We'll give it your best shot, Dark Elf. I have no problem spilling more blood of the Emperor's lackeys. Wrong <coughs> choice. <coughs> Don't you dare cast magic. Oh shit, you're all still alive. <laughs> I totally thought I had him there. Yeah, well, you're four gold. And a ring. Huh. Well, that's the. There's the evidence. His ring is right there. Uh, and since he's dead. You know, I don't think. Hello, my mouse is going everywhere. How are you? I don't think he's going to miss any of this. Which reminds me, I need to get. Oh, I'm dead from the fire. I'm gonna take that. His books are cool. I'm a bit of a. bit of a book collector. I don't know if Galdros is, and we'll figure that out. Excuse me. Hello, stranger. Wait, do you wanna face me? What is this about? I just knew you'd be back. I just didn't realize it'd be so soon. So it is your pleasure today, Galdras. Uh... Oh, I can't ask about the murder anymore. Hmm. Yeah, I can't ask about the murder. Okay. Well, I mean, it makes sense. I'm just bringing up my menu. Yeah, the mon the menu, the, the button, the button to bring up the menu in this game is the right click, so it's kind of just boop, 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 boop. I hate myself. Hello, Galdras. What business do you have with the census office today? Uh, here, report the murder. I heard you've been asking around about his murder. I'm glad to see this matter brought to completion. Here's your reward, Galdras. Good to see there are still some citizens who understand their loyalty to the Emperor. Also, take this key for the vacant home here inside of Neen. We don't have a buyer due to the house prior history, but I doubt you care, so take it. What? And a house? What's this then? Hell yeah, I'm okay with that. That gives me place to soar loot. I. Now I know that's not in the vanilla game. And Willow Home. You know, I've kind of just done a bunch of mods in here, and I don't know. What that's okay, Willow Home. It's right next to Okay, so it's that third house up there. I was wondering what that's from. I honestly heh <laughs> words. I honestly don't have any idea what mod that's from. I'll have to look it up. But hey, I mean cool. A, a house is a house. Even if it's tiny like this. And more when you don't buy property, so I didn't mean although I didn't do anything with the ring. Okay, weird. You know, it has been a long time since I played this game. Greetings, Galdras. It does always see a valued customer like yourself. What can I get for you today? Oh, see, since I gave the room back to Fargoth. Uh, barter. Uh, I don't need that. Let's see here. Um, I don't need the tax record. Well, I don't need. I don't need those. I need those. Uh, let me see your. Yeah, there you go. Let's bring that down to 85, my dude. Oh, and armor. 
Do you have any steel? Ooh, you do. Ooh, and a steel shield. So I'm going to sell you back my iron shield. And I'll take the two gauntlets. I don't want a helmet, actually. He's t he's too pretty for a helmet. Uh, let's do 185. Is that cool? 188. Cool. Yeah, 174. Uh, every time they refuse an offer, your disposition goes down. Where? Well, Outland. What have we here? What? But, I mean, it makes sense. Interesting. Not point. I don't need to come back out here. Actually, let's talk to some more people. Hello. Welcome to a really stranger. I'm name. I haven't seen you around here before, so it'll be new to sighting. Eventually, everyone finds his or way, his or her way to a real estate house. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Any rumors? Hmm. How about an odd mystery instead? Not too many years ago, I was sitting with the mur, who was slowly drinking himself unconscious. To the purpose, he had scarcely said a word. Eventually, I asked him if it was about a girl. The mur didn't speak. Didn't speak, shifted his gaze, or acknowledged what I said in many ways. I figured he was too inebriated to be aware of his surroundings. I was on the point of taking another goal myself when he said he was trying to silence the voices. I apologized for disturbing him and was prepping to move a little further away when he corrected me and said it was not my voice or the other voices in the corner club, but rather the voices in his head. He couldn't remember when it started, but it came on suddenly without any apparent cause. The voices were somewhat in inarticulate and they overlapped each other, making it more difficult to understand. He, des he described them as a kind of whisper that sometimes became a menacing hiss. It was incessant, preventing him from focusing on other matters or even sleeping. So he drank. Since the time I met them, Mur, I have heard others complain of similar symptoms that were just as unexplained. Some have taken to call it soul sickness, an ominous name, or merely a name for anything that no one really understands. It would not have it would not have to actually exist, just its mention may generate enough anxiety in the weak minded to disturb their rest. Others speculate that it is may be associated with the blight. I confess it makes me a little nervous, but that is just one of the but that is just one of the qualities of a mystery. Interesting. So there's something Mas around Sarah. Morrowind, going around Morrowind, called the soul sickness. And it's making people go crazy. Huh. Uh, how about you, sir? You must be new to say anything. Just passing through, I suppose. Yeah, you heard any rumors? Did you hear that some fool lost Mentor's ring in a tomb along the Bitter Coast? Or so they say. Mentor's ring. Any time Don't now. know what that is, but cool. I guess we should go tomb uh, hunting then. Come on, then. Say something or move on. Uh, let's let's put our new fancy gloves. Oh yeah. I'm listening. Nice. Go ahead. Cool. Oh, that, yeah, you know what we should do. It's four p.m. God, it's only been three hours. Uh, we should go check out our new. Go home. ahead, stranger. I have to fire you off the hook. I found the murderer. I suppose it is my duty to help those less fortunate yeah, I'm than sure. myself. Bitch. I'm gonna bleep all of the bad words just so you don't know what I'm saying. It's unlocked. Now, what's its prior history? This is quaint and cozy. I'm expecting like furniture knocked down and whatnot. There's a little bit of gold. I'll keep that there for decoration. Oh, you know what? We should do this. Sorry about that. I have a pup that wanted out. Also, what's going on with the music? Huh, there's no music. Weird. Okay. Um. Ha! Lo and behold. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Uh, let's look in here. Nothing. In the chest. Ooh. Why? Cool. Yeah, this doesn't look like. Aha! Adin, what happened to our agreement? You were supposed to deliver the skooma to our buyer. If you use it all, I will get you alive. The buyer paid beforehand, and if they don't get their shipment, you are to blame. Come meet me at a usual spot in Adamardis immediately so we can clear all this up. Melar Barum. Huh, so Adin sounds like he's in a bit of trouble. Um, let's do a bit of alchemy real quick. I will cut back when I'm done, because this is kind of hit and miss here. So I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, welcome back. Um, so, well, welcome back. It's been a second since time has passed. Um, we have reached a 
well, one skill increase, and we made some drain potions. So, I mean, not the worst thing that could have ever happened. Let's take this and sell it. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep all of that in here. That way, I can come back here and just do alchemy. And not haul everything. Was that the only one I left? Yeah, I just did it and I don't even remember. My god. Uh, let's go to the trade house. Go ahead, stranger. An interesting thing I should mention now. is poisons don't. You can't attach them to your weapon. You can't actually poison things. So poisons affect you. You drink it. It's kind of dumb. I think there's a mod out there that changes it, but I don't want to dabble with that right now. And it's not that big of a deal. I can just sell it. It's free gold. It's always to see if I like customers like yourself. Uh, hey, yeah, I got some uh, stuff to sell you, including those. And then those. Let's do 45. Is that cool? Dude. Dear. Such a jerk. Oh, God, look at that. Pretty. I don't care. This game came out in 2002, and this looks great. Like, it's not, like, high-def realism, but it's not bad. I think it just looks great. All right, so let's let's ask about rumors around here and see if we can't get anything from anyone. Greetings and salutations. Rumors. Fair enough. Dunius. Let's hear that it. That was weird. <laughs> And first, of all, at first it seemed all the fuss about the Nerevarian prophecy was just silly superstition. Then I learned that the Dunmer have been waiting for Lord Nerevar to come back for centuries. The Incarnate, they call him. With every few years, an Ashlander appears, and the tribes call him the Incarnate. Then the temple goes out, hunts him down, and reveals him as a fake. Why does the temple worry so much about it? No clue, yes. sir. So I begin telling me where Adam Martyr is? Okay, so we're gonna we're looking for a place called where is it? Adamar, <laughs> yeah, that's one. Adamardris. So I'm gonna pronounce it. We're gonna roll with it. And it's 5 p.m. currently. You so have something to say to me? Also, tomb. Some tomb. Better. We're gonna go along checking tombs because we want to find the mentor's ring. Make a mental note of that. Um. So let's start looking around and see if we can't find Adamardris. Let's go. With some stuff in it. Nice. All right, so let's pick up some flora and fauna. Some over there. All right. God, I hate the sound of this game. Why, hello. What do we have here? Aha! All right. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. We'll continue off where right here. We'll go explore Adam Arteris, and we will well, we'll find out what what Melar did to Aideen there. All right, well, I thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll catch you in the next episode. All right, bye. In my 20 years of life on Nern, none have been as fortunate as these last couple of hours. Released by Emperor Uriel Sato himself, I've been freed, only to obey what he commands. But in these short hours, I've accomplished more than I ever had in the Imperial City. I discovered the murder of a local tax collector, Processus Vitellius, and then hunted down the murderer and executed for his crimes. In doing so, the Imperials of the town reward me Willow Home. I was elated with owning my own home. I've never really had a place to call home before. Once inside, I discovered a note that revealed this home was used as a drug smuggling base, along with a cave called Adamardris outside of town. My search will begin there to end this drug operation.